piece of data temporarily okay. so if you go to contact us form and go to design view this is going to be a dynamic field this will change always this will be a new set of data a piece of data for any consumer so if it if I'm filling this it will have a different value if you are filling this it will have a different value and same thing is true for every of these fields this is dynamic data the message will be different for every time the form is used the email address will be different for everybody that is using this form the name all people have different names okay so name of the field if you can go to properties name of the field is name okay and we are designing a variable with the help of dollar sign we could have said anything else but this is the variable we have chosen so it can make sense so is equal to sign and then there's a built-in function called request okay so it comes up here click enter and it comes up with uh, a bracket so it's uh, not the curly bracket the other one and then you type in the name of the field on form which is name okay so and then close this bracket and then semicolon okay so this field if you go to contact us page then you click here and you go to code view again this is input name is name and you can also check if you go to design view and then go to properties and this is the name of the field here okay this email uh, field has also a name and this is email with small e so next thing we'll, we'll go to uh, contact PHP and we'll, uh, we are in code view already next thing we want to uh, next variable we want to define is dollar uh, and we'll say email is equal to sign and we'll use this built-in function request dollar dollar request and then we'll say email okay so we'll close this bracket and semicolon again and then we want to send the message so another variable message is equal to sign and the uh, built-in function request and we'll say name of the field is message and and then close the bracket and semicolon so we have told the coding PHP code that it's going to uh, this email address this is the subject that we have defined and then we want to define uh, we want to send the message message and we want to say double quotes from function and dollar e mail okay and then we'll we'll close this okay that's what you have to do that's it okay now this is something very easy and simple if uh, remember and it will work uh, but if you are designing a commercial website I would advise you to uh, go ahead and download a proper complex PHP script from any of the website that offer uh, it free of cost one thing more we want to say header and we want to say location and once they have typed in something uh, send us a message we want them to go back to this website 
myuni.net and we'll close this we'll close the bracket again and then uh, we will type in the semicolon so let me check if I just want to make sure that everything is right mail function here this is the subject this is the message and this is the from email and then we want them to go back to this website once they have pressed the submit button so we'll save this again and then we can also close this and we can refresh this this contact php for, uh, contact php document is visible here now you can simply do a number of things you can simply uh, I want you to check the code of the form again so the form action is empty yet and I'll go to design view I'll select this form and I will go to properties and under action I can click here and I can contact PHP file say OK and the action is PHP now uh, control S and go to code view again now this is attached to a contact PHP script okay form action contact PHP and this is the ID of the form so if I view this in Internet Explorer again if I now I want you to pay attention again here if I hover my mouse over the button it is it says contact PHP now so it means that the form should work now what we'll simply do we'll upload this uh, form to our server again and uh, we will check it from the website okay so I'll, I'll use the file Zilla FTP client to s upload this these two files again so I'll close this uh, and I'll close this and this is our uh, learning website and both contact us page and contact uh, PHP file is here I can close this I can open my file Zilla client I can go to file site manager and connect to the site and it's connecting to the remote server and it should show up in a minute and I'll go to HTTP docs again and from here contact PHP and contact us uh, contact HTML these both files have to be uploaded again simply drag and drop it here and in a minute it should say it should tell you the number of, of hours that have been transferred okay one and two and that's it uh, close the client and go to your internet browser type in the URL my-uni.net and I'll show you my uh, uh, our Microsoft Outlook there's no email from the, uh, the site yet and I'll go to myuni.net I'll press enter so I'll go to contact us page and I'll type in my I'll type in a name and I will type a fake email address and I'll say test and I'll submit this form here notice I want you to pay attention here again done and if I go to my Art, Art, Outlook Express and if I send and receive the message has come from uh, from my university so that's it for today thank you very much and we'll come back again